Good day everyone! Welcome to our activity. Today we are going to perform counting of our reticulocytes. But before that, let's make a smear. Since the method for making the smear is a dry method, the following materials are needed for the activity. First, we have the micropipette. Then, the pipette tips. We will also be utilizing a blood sample that is anticoagulated with EDTA, a super vital stain, specifically the Brilliant Crassel Blue, some slides, a spreader, a clean test tube, and some parafilm. So here are the steps on how to make your smear for your retex count. First, get a clean test tube and label the tube with the patient's name. After labeling the tube, get the patient sample and invert it several times to redistribute the cells that have settled at the bottom of the tube. Next, get your micropipette and calibrate or set the calibration to 100 microliters. Attach the pipette tip into the micropipette and aspirate 100 microliters of the patient's blood sample. The aspirated blood sample must be transferred to the tube that was labeled earlier. Discard the tip and get another tip for the aspiration of the supervital stain. The supervital stain used for this method is the BCB or the Brilliant Crassil Blue. In other instances, you can also make use of a pasture pipette for aspirating the blood sample or the supervital stain in a ratio of 3 to 4 drops of whole blood anticoagulated with EDTA and 3 to 4 drops of supravital stain in a small test tube. After discarding the tip, recap the container of the supravital stain, after which Get a parafilm to cover the test tube containing the mixture of the patient's blood sample and the stain. Gently shake the tube and incubate at room temperature for 3 to 10 minutes. Right after incubating the sample at room temperature, get your micropipette and set the calibration to 50 microliters. Attach the pipette tip into the micropipette and prepare a clean slide. Next, Aspirate the mixture of the stain and the blood sample. Place a drop of the mixture on the slide and perform a wedge smear. slide has totally dried, you are now ready to examine it under the microscope using the oil immersion objective. This is how your reticulocytes would appear under the microscope when using the oil immersion objective. Like mature red blood cells, 
Your reticulocytes do not have a cell nucleus. They are called reticulocytes because of a reticular or mesh-like network of ribosomal RNA that only becomes visible under the microscope when using a supervital stain, which in this case is the brilliant Cressel blue. What we need to do is we have to count 1,000 red blood cells and also count the reticulocytes on the area where we have also counted the RBCs. We have to compute for the percent reticulocyte using the formula that was discussed during the lecture and also calculate the absolute counts and report all the values. So that's it for your reticulocyte count activity. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.